Smartphones are becoming increasingly popular. There's a large number of both staff and students who use smartphones every day. And the really useful thing about these phones is the number of different tasks they can perform. And today we're going to be looking about how they can help in the learning environment. Paper notes and handouts, as well as textbooks, are still extremely prevalent in university life, despite the move to more and more digital formats. Today we're going to be looking at how to convert a paper document into a digital one via an Android smartphone. This is the advantage of letting you transfer large amounts of information quickly and store it on your computer, as well as allow you to edit it and get the most out of that information. So firstly, we will need to install an application from the Android app market. And you want to search for an application called Cam Scanner. And this is available completely free of charge. Once you've installed it, go into the app locker. And we're looking for the icon called Cam Scanner, which we can see here. And we're going to click on that. That's going to start the Cam Scanner application. In order to begin the process, we press the icon in the bottom left-hand corner with the camera and document icon, which is this one here. And what this is going to do is start the phone's camera. And what we're going to do here is take a picture of the document. And you want to try and get it reasonably square, but as you'll see in the next stage, it doesn't matter if it's not completely perfect. And once you're happy with that, we're just going to press the camera button. That snap you'll hear there is it taking a picture. Now, if you're happy with that, you can press OK. If it's slightly blurred, you can press retake obviously depends on the individual camera of your phone and what we're going to be able to do here is crop the image by moving the green line just to square it up a little bit so we're going to make sure we're including everything that we need and if we've got a lot of free space we can remove that just by using the touch screen interface on your phone to you're happy with the way it looks. If you need to do any rotations, you can do them by pressing the buttons at the bottom. And once you're happy, you can press the tick. And now what will happen is the image will start to process. This will clean up the image, enhancing it, taking out any spare space that we have and making it more readable and more usable once you transfer it to your computer as an electronic document. Time it takes obviously depends on how large the document is and how much text there is. And you can just see the progress bar along the bottom moving along and it starts to wipe down and enhance the text making it a little bit brighter. Now once that's finished it's going to give you the option to press tick And we've now created a digital, digital version of our paper document. And we can view that as a PDF on the phone by pressing the middle icon down the bottom. And on the phone, it's not that much use because it's still very small. So what we're going to be able to do is by pressing this triangle icon down here, is we're then going to be able to email it to ourselves as a PDF document and you will see down there it says new document PDF and that is the file attached so we can just pop in our email address press send and we can send it to friends colleagues or email it to ourselves and then we can have that on our home computer or our laptop which we can use to refer to at a later date I hope that this has been helpful thanks very much for watching